In this video, we are going over how to get over mistakes in football right away. That's coming up next. Hi guys, my name is Dave and this is Simply Soccer. If you're new here, where we release videos every single week to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the content that we release. And if you haven't already, make sure you get my free ebook, Game Changer. Again, absolutely free, giving you 33 different ways to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. That'll be linked down below. Now in this video, I wanna go over really quick how you can start getting over mistakes right away when you're in matches, when you're in training or whatever whatever other situation you're in. Uh, because one of the main problems I see with a lot of players who come to me either as a client, a paid client, or just someone who comes and asks me a question, when we get to the root of one of their issues of why they're not improving, a lot of times it's coming down to them beating themselves up over mistakes. You know, I've worked with players who are really, really good. They're really gifted. They have great technical ability. They're always, when they're confident, one of the best players on the pitch. Uh, but what I found is when they make one simple mistake, they take themselves right out of the game. So having the skill to be able to get over mistakes immediately, right away, in the moment, is an incredible skill to have because I guarantee you there are so many players you're playing with and against that they're good, but they make one bad pass or they miss that open opportunity or they miss a tackle or someone beats them one-on-one or one, or one -on -one, and their head gets taken out of the game and they're playing averagely to pretty poor the the rest of the match. So it's essential that you learn this. You guys, first and foremost, it's to come from the perspective and mindset that mistakes are not a bad thing. In fact, they're absolutely necessary. You know, they say that the faster you fail, the faster you can grow. Now, you shouldn't deliberately fail, but you should learn from your failures. You should learn from your mistakes. In fact, I really hate the negative connotation the word mistake and failure has because you will never progress in anything unless you've made a lot of mistakes and a lot of failures. So first and foremost is to understand mistakes are things you can look at and learn from that are only going to make you better going forward. You know, some of the most famous athletes um, say that they didn't learn the most from their victories they grew the most and learned the most from their defeats. Because within the defeat, within the mistake, within the failure is the capacity for so much growth. But the problem is most players will fail, they'll have a bad match, they'll lose a game, or they'll make a mistake in the moment, and they won't use that as an opportunity to grow and become better. They'll use it as an excuse to not do something, or they'll use it as an excuse to play the victim card, the why always me, you know, oh my God, I always make that mistake. They'll beat themselves up over it but that doesn't help them. So the first thing is to remember that mistakes are okay, they're normal and natural, and they're nothing to beat yourself up over. Yes, don't deliberately make them. In this sport, the less mistakes you make, obviously the better, but if you do end up making one, that's fine. You just need to realize you can learn from it and become better. Now that's a more long-term thing you can do. So let's get over, or let's go over what you can do immediately in the short term, right away when you make a mistake. Now the first thing is to allow whatever's coming up to come up. Um, yes, you don't want to, you want to make sure that you're moving on pretty quickly, but usually what causes a lot of players to dwell on whatever it is uh, they're dwelling on, like a mistake, is because they don't release it. They, they get all up in their head about it. But if you get angry and you just yell out real quick, um, and you'll see a lot of professional players do this, they'll just kind of go, ah, like real quick. But that's fine because you have an emotional reaction to maybe doing something you think is pretty simple and messing it up. You release it and then you move on. It's okay for the first few seconds to be angry. There's nothing wrong with being angry. There's nothing wrong with being a little upset set it yourself. But the point is you're not dwelling on it. You're releasing it. You're not holding it in and you release it and you move on in the moment. You bounce back. And again, just watch a professional player when they miss a chance or they make a little bit of a mistake. They kind of do that. They kind of almost, some of them actually scream out real quick. I notice this a lot when I'm watching professional matches. Um, they'll scream out, they'll do something to kind of like shake that energy off and then they'll get on with it. But what you'll notice about players who take themselves out of the game, the players that make a mistake and then they're just done for the rest of the match, or it takes a lot for them to get back into it, they'll go like this, they'll make the mistake and go, 
and they're off, right? They're not releasing it, they're judging themselves, they're getting in their own head about it, and now they're overthinking about it because they're just going, uh, like this. But the players that, ah, uh, like scream out, and or the players who just go, you know, like that, they're very animated. You see Ronaldo do that as well. And people think that's immature, but actually I think it's incredibly mature. Because instead of stuffing the emotion down of whatever it is, anger, because he messed something up, he's releasing it. He's like, oh my God, you know, he's feeling this thing and he's releasing it in the moment really quick, or he's screaming out, or he's doing whatever. And we're taught that this is a bad thing, but I honestly don't believe it is. Because then you're releasing whatever that emotion is, instead of holding it in and going like, oh my God, I suck so much. I'm so terrible. Oh my God, you know, whatever it is. And then you get in your own head about it. If you just go, oh, and just release it, Sorry if that hurt your ears if you're on headphones, but you just release it. You are now allowing yourself to release and get back into the game. Because ultimately the way to get over it really quickly is to get back into the moment. But if you go down and you're like this, you put your head down and you get up in your head, you're suddenly gonna start overthinking, which takes you out of the moment. So just remember that when you're in the moment, you make a mistake, you know, don't put your head down, don't get all in your head about it. Just release it in the first few seconds. If you have to be a little angry, like that's actually what you feel, anger, and you have to scream out or you have to throw your hands up or whatever it is, do that for the first few seconds and then get back into the game. Forget it, let it go, allow the emotions to leave and then get back in the game. But if you resist them, if you just put your head down, if you just allow it to perpetuate in your own mind, that's what's going to cause you to beat yourself up over mistakes and not get over it. All right, so I hope that's helpful to you guys. You can let me know your strategies for getting over mistakes in the moment. I wanna hear what you have to say, so let me know down in the comments um, and really try this out because I used to be, um, or I was taught that you know I shouldn't express my emotion on the field by many coaches, like because I used to be a player who would scream out. I would be a player who maybe even cursed. Maybe you shouldn't curse if you have the, um, if you're a younger player and yes, there is the potential you'll get carded. I actually got sent off in a game in high school for cursing, um, which I think, it, I mean, I'm not gonna give my thoughts on that, um, but you know, just make sure you're not gonna get in trouble for doing it, but find a way to release in the moment. And I found when I do that, that's fine. You know, because I am feeling angry, I am feeling upset, I'm releasing that, which then allows me to get back into the game. So give it a, give it, um, a shot for yourself and see how it works. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I just want to give you that little thing you can do that I found helpful because, again, I know so many people who say, oh, don't get frustrated, don't get angry, don't blah, blah, blah. But that's no good to say that if you are frustrated or you are angry. That just is what is. And then you can release that so you can get your head right back in the game. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you check out the other videos I've put up on screen, and I will see you in the next video.